Okay, so welcome to our YouTube channel for uh, this episode. Okay, so basically, if you are not sure, you know, don't know about us, we have our website that ship worldwide. So you can go to our website www.redtacker.com at the description below. Okay, so I didn't have time to do uh, videos for the last one to two weeks. Okay, but let me use this video to recap what we brought in for the last one to two weeks. Okay, so if you watch my video on braided lines, uh, this is something that I really, really recommend. And if you want to have, you don't want to damage your lines, you want to have very good line quality, you want to spool in, spool out at home, uh, this is something that you need to do. Please don't go and use the chopstick put in the spool, then try to step them, put a towel or whatever, okay? So don't need this kind of thing, okay? If you can afford a fishing reel, you can afford a lure, this one you can afford, no problem, okay? Because this one you can use for like, uh, I think from the start of your fishing hobby to the end of your fishing hobby, la. depends on how long your fishing hobby lasts. Okay, so this is the Daiichi Seiko Recycle version 2. So you can see all the instructions below and what they have given inside. Okay, this is the equipment. So if you see this, this is the place where you can use the tie the tension and everything. Anyway, I don't want to describe more about this. If you watch the Glaudis braided line, uh, series we actually talk about this okay so this is back in stock okay so this one we got it direct from japan okay then uh the zack sense is installed the soft pencil is installed we have some new lures which i don't want to talk about okay so basically oh yeah basically if you guys were talking about the vmc jig heads vmc jig heads are all sold out okay but if you watch my last video on the premium pawn that we paid i think 160 dollars for two hours or something we use the Tiny Boss jig head. So if you want a jig head that is 14 gram, the hook is also big, 3 -0. And And uh, I can tell you that the hooks on the Tiny Boss is actually stronger than the VMC hooks. Lah. So actually, you should give it a try because uh, Tiny Boss, we did a lot of uh, research and we went to a lot of places to find this jig head. And we think that it's very good. That is why we bring it to the shop. Uh, we repackage it into like small Ziploc bags. The reason is because we bought it in very, very big bulk, about a few thousand pieces. So you can check it out on our website, the Tiny Boss Jig Head, they are very strong, 14 gram. And uh, a lot of people tell me that they want the round, round uh, Jig Head. The head, uh, the head, they want a round head. Because they say the, the round head cast further, uh, okay? So this is the round head. So they say the round head cast further. So I don't know, lah. Uh, but this depends on your personal preference. You can give it a try. All I can tell you is the hook size is correct. 14 gram is what I like and the casting is good. Okay. And ah, the hook is strong. Sorry. Okay. So anyway, today is anything else. Uh, wait, wait, let me think. Okay. Go Maxus. We also restore. Okay. We should actually a, a lot gone already. Ah, okay. Okay. This one. This one, this one. Okay. Before I, I go to the two jiao of the day. Okay. The main product of the day. I want to talk about this. So this is one of the more expensive uh, brands in Japan called the Studio Composites. They are famous of making carbon handles and all those things. So you can see that this is the carbon uh, carbon fiber setup. Okay. You can see that even uh, the knobs uh, are carbon fiber. But but this time this this model itself is a little bit special. Okay. Why do I say special? I don't know if you can see it. But this model, right, it has a rubberized carbon fiber. So instead of the old model where it's glossy and something like epoxy, doesn't have a very good grip, right? This one has a rubberized feeling. So it's a little bit better in terms of grip. You can feel a friction and all those things, okay? So these are in stock already, okay? And they fit uh, your Shimano or your Daiwa. They come with a double adapter behind over here. Uh, one the red one is Shimano, this one is a Daiwa and Abu. Okay, so you can check this out on our website. Again, we ship worldwide. So I know US guys, you guys love our products because you have been always purchasing all these uh, very exotic brands that we have. Okay, okay, then uh, okay, anything else? Anything else? Uh, let me think. Uh, not that I know of, but let me show you this uh, scar cap. So this 13 fishing scar cat anyway, uh, I have to say that we are still trying to restock it. Okay, those people that follow our Facebook, you guys, the fast hand, fast leg, uh, you're already like almost buying finish ready. Okay, so why do I want to talk about this? Okay, this is something that if you buy the SLD, SLDZ from 13 fishing, they actually come with the orange one. This is a scar cap. What is a scar cap? Okay, basically this is a real. So your BC, your bait casting reel, right? Actually put inside. 
So a bit casting rail put inside. This is more like a magnet metal thing like that. So it protects your rail. Okay. So this one is quite popular. I think it, because it's waterproof lah. So a lot of people like it. It's currently sold out already. So you got to wait for the next batch to come. Then, uh, oh yes, our 13 fishing reels like the A2, uh, A3, uh, SLD, right hand, all these things are coming back in stock. Some already in stock, so please check our website. Okay, our products go too fast, come and go, come and go, come and go, and then some is by pre-order. So, you don't really, you see us post, but it's gone the next day, okay? Okay, so the main thing for today is our super bait okay so basically i purposely uh find use this background uh, because i have actually uh spent a lot of effort to actually sh do the super bait uh, whole rack i don't know you in this video i think you can see the top but you cannot see the bottom so let me show you the bottom so there's still other red colors and all these things okay so anyway you can go and check out our website okay so why why am i i want to talk about these bags first these bags are from korea this is a super bait, it's a Korea brand, okay? Uh, this time, we, we actually restocked them. Like, for, we, we took quite some time to restock them. And the reason why we managed to restock so many today is because actually all of them are different. You can see that the color may look almost the same, but they are different, okay? So what difference? There's a lot of new models, okay? But before I go to the new model, let's talk about the old model. So this is the super bait shadow bag, okay? This bag is very, very popular for all the swim bait people. Okay, so this is the place where you tighten, then you do this, then you swing it in front, then you open up the back. Okay, wow, I think the camera too high, you cannot see. Let's lower it a little bit. Okay, see whether you can have a better view. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, so you can go behind, swing it. Then, this one, the interesting thing is it comes with the YKK uh, waterproof zips. Okay. This is the super big shadow bag is very big. Okay, so why beef why I want to show you this? Because after I show you this, I'm gonna show you uh two different models that they came out recently. These are new models, okay? So I'm gonna show you this one first. This is the super big compact shadow bag. Okay, so you see the difference in size? Okay, I don't know. Can you see the difference in size? I think you can now. Huh? Okay, so let's let's put it like that. Can you see? Can you see? <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but the difference is very big. Okay, this is small. This is big. To me, the difference is really really big. Uh, hey, like that can see. I like that better. Ah, okay. So anyway, the function is the same. I personally think that the shadow bag is a little bit big for the local trips but there's still people that like it i have customers that buy it to put laptop to go work instead of going fishing okay but maybe inside of fishing rod i don't know okay so all the shadow bags will come with this this part is to put the rod or to put your travel rod back and all these things okay so even the shadow bag have okay so the lunch bag i think the size is a little bit better okay let me show you same thing strap like this okay turn open also come with the uh, YKK uh, waterproof zips. Okay, this bag you don't have problem putting in the VS3020. Yeah, I'm gonna lucky I still got one VS3020 here. Okay, so this is the famous stacker box, okay, in the Meho series. A lot of people like this stacker box. Why? You can remove the segments inside. So you you can not you can don't use the segments right you can take it out or you can use it or, or whichever you like la. I don't like to use the segment. This one will fit perfectly inside the compact shadow bag. Okay, it will fit. I think maybe two. You can fit up to two. And uh, same thing. You have the zips outside zips for your maybe outside the things. Then uh, your plier holder. I think for the shadow bag, if you buy before you know lah, shadow bag is with this. And these are all your D rings to to check your your whatever plier la boga grip and all these things. So this is the compact shadow bag. Can see it? Can see it? Ah, okay. So this is the compact shadow bag. I can, I I personally like the compact shadow bag better. Okay. So we have the shadow bag in stock. The compact shadow bag in stock. Okay, and now we have the even the new ones 
which they call it the lunch bag okay uh, i will say that the lunch bag is my personal favorite lah okay so i'm going to show you the lunch bag now okay again it comes with i don't want to say the same thing again lah but I just show you it comes with the ykk waterproof uh, zips ah okay so the com the lunch bag is like um your how to tell you maybe your normal pouch because my patagonia pouch also come in the same design so over this one right this this one over here you can also use it like that okay if you like like that you can use it like that okay if you don't like you want to strap it on your waist you can also strap it on your waist okay but inside they will come with another uh sling okay so let me show you ah uh. okay so again uh, again let's see ah uh, vs3020 so it's designed for vs3020 they use the box to design the pack so it will definitely fit compactly and nicely that's the that's how they design these fishing bags for super bait okay they they all use the vs3020 because they are mostly using for swim baits and all these things Okay, so you see, it fits perfectly. So I will say that the Super Bait Compact is still bigger than the Lunch Bag. The Lunch Bag only can put one VS3020, but the Super Bait Compact can put uh, two. I think the Super Bait Box can put even bigger than VS3020 or maybe three VS3020. So it depends on what size you want. Okay, so this is, this one, uh, the sling, they'll come with a sling, okay. The good thing about the sling i will say uh, is this part of the sling right is actually a rubber pad so i think this is like mm, doesn't go wet and i think the quality is a lot better so let's slink and try okay then uh, if you want to run don't know why fishing you must run uh. if you go that kind of fishing that must run uh, then you can strap this, tighten it. I don't want to tighten like lazy, okay? So I just show you how it works. Okay, like that. Then you can run. Okay? So this is the lunch bag, okay? Uh, I feel that for me, I like the lunch bag design. La. Actually, I don't really like two big bags because I don't bring a lot of lures out when I go fishing. So it depends. So if you go bashing, you may want the super bit uh, shadow bag or the shadow compact. If you want to go for a short trip or just uh, casual or BFS light lures, I think the lunch bag is good enough. Uh, again, it comes with the waterproof uh, the, the zip, okay, which I don't want to talk about it again. Okay, so the super weight bags, they are, they are not filmsy, okay. So one thing I want to share with you is actually they are, their materials is very hard. You can see they don't, they are always in shape. That is why I like them. Okay, they don't use a lousy material and they are quite tough and quite rip proof actually okay so uh that's it full range of colors uh one thing you can take note is uh and anyway we have limited stocks uh, and uh the thing is i think a lot of us and and canada or, or overseas guys love this bag so we get a lot of orders from overseas so the local guys you guys got to fast hand fast click okay so that's it for today's video hit the like button subscribe button i see you in the next episode and that's it for today's video and bye bye